To start the next section of this lab guide, we need to log into root and we're going to use the root username, but the password is going to be Cisco followed by your group ID, which mine is zero one. Now that we're logged in, we have to modify a file which holds our network information. And there's two different ways that you can do it. You can do nano or you can do VI. I'm going to do VI, but where we want to go is slash Etsy and then sysconfig. And then from there we want to go to network, which you can tab things out as you're going through this. And it's going to be network hyphen scripts, if cfg hyphen eth zero. And then once you have your command typed in, you can hit enter. Now that we're here in the file, there's some things that we want to confirm and some things that we want to add. First off, we're going to want to do a look at boot proto. And rather than having this say DHCP, we're going to want it to say static. So we'll hit delete to get rid of DHCP. And then we have to hit I to go into insert. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, it says insert. So we want this to say static and then I'll hit escape. You can see at the bottom of the screen, insert went away. At this point, I can uh, use the arrows again on my keyboard to move around and I'm going to move all the way to the bottom and then I'm going to hit the letter O so that I can move on to the next line. But as you can see, insert has returned at the bottom of the screen, letting me know that I can type here. Also, before I type, I want to point out that the last line says on boot equals yes. That's something that we need it to say. Now we're going to add in here IP ADDR equals followed by our assigned static IP address, which mine will be 10.0.10.1. And then here's where you put your two digit group ID. I'm in group 01. And so I will put zero one here and then we'll hit enter and type in let me get that in capital gateway and that will equal our subnet again 10.0.10.1 everybody's will be 10.0.10.1 and then we have to put in our net net mask and this will be your subnet mask here, which will be a slash 24. So we're doing 255.255.255.0. At this point, we'll hit escape and we should see insert disappear from the bottom of the screen. And then you want to hit colon W Q, which means write and quit. At this point, if you want to confirm that your configuration is there correctly, you can cat the file and we can see that our uh, boot proto says static, on boot says yes, our IP address is there and it's the correct one. We have our gateway and our net mask. We need to restart the network now in order for this to take effect. So we type in the command service network restart. And now you can see it saying restarting network we have to wait for that to be done. Then once it's done, we can go back and confirm that it took the change. So we'll type in ifconfig eth0. So that's ifconfig eth0. And let's take a look at our IP address here. It is 10.0.10.101. The net mask is there. And so our change has now been taken and our, ser our server is using the IP address we want it to be using. Before we move on to the next portion of this lab, let's go ahead and try to SSH into our server. The IP address for mine is 10.0.10.101 and I have the option selected for SSH. And then once I click yes, it's going to ask me if I want to um, accept the server's host key. So I'll say yes. And now we need to try to log in here. And my login was successful. Now you do need to keep this window open in the background because if you try to turn, if you try to close that window, 
you're going to end up having to basically close down your um, server as well. So we just have to keep this one open and you can choose to either work in the CLI by SSH or through the console. But for the rest of this lab guide, we won't really be doing anything in the CLI anyway. I'll end this video here and we're going to go on to the next section of the lab guide called Configure Free PBX.